um, the soft clipper is going to prevent anything from going above zero dB, which means we can really push the volume up and it will still retain the dynamics to a certain point. But we want to sort of push it a little bit so that when it comes to mastering, we can kind of, um, you know, what is going on people welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing well in today's video i'm going to show you guys three steps or three tips on how to mix or how to sort of set yourself up to have a good mix basically um three really simple steps but if you don't do them it can have like a huge effects on like the peaks which means that when it comes to mastering and compressing the whole beat it will just sort of kill the quality i found a really good way of avoiding that so we're going to dive straight into it Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you are not subscribed already. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on another upload. Uh, and yeah, let's dive into it. Okay, so I've put this little beat together uh, that sounds like this. Hello, this. Okay, now... Once you finish with the beat, and once the whole beat's finished, you know, once you've laid it all out into a full beat and you're ready to, you know, start mixing it properly, there's a few things that I do beforehand, and these things are super important because if you ever get to a stage where you finish the beat, you mix it, you, you come to mastering it, and you start to, like, compress things and, you know, try and squish the sound down to make it as loud as possible, it kind of just sounds squashed, and it sounds like you've just, you know you know the feeling, you put a limiter on it and it just kills the whole beat. So there's a few things that I've figured out how to do uh, that you do before that, that kind of alleviates that and still sort of allows you to retain the dynamics of the beat. Now the first thing that I'll do is once I've finished it is I'll just level everything. Sounds really simple for some of you guys, but but for some of you guys you may not know. So basically leveling it is just making sure all the volumes for each individual sound are how you like them. Okay, so don't worry about anything other than making the beat Sorry, dogs. Uh, so don't worry about making anything um, sound a certain way because of a certain reason. Just adjust the volumes to a sound that you think is, you know, loud and punchy to you. You know, it's completely individualized. So I'll go through and just make a few tiny adjustments. And then to be honest, you can even just use the the, uh, the gain knobs on the side. You don't have to go into the mixer and do it all. You can just do it before you put them into the mixer. So go ahead and hit play and, uh, and start making some adjustments. So. Okay, to be honest, I did a little bit of leveling before I shot this video, but this is sounding all right to me. Okay, now that's step one. So if you guys that already know how to level, great. Now step two is put them all into the mixer and add a soft clipper. Now, I've mentioned this in a, in a previous video about adding a soft clipper, but I haven't gone into as much detail as this. So all you need to do is make sure first that you've got all your sounds put into the mixer. So easy way to do that is just make sure that all these green boxes are highlighted or the ones that you want to put into the mixer. So I don't need this empty sample, I'm just going to uncheck that. And then just come over to your mixer um, and drop them in. So, so just right click the nearest empty mixer track, hover over link selected channels and starting from this track and then I'll just drop all the sounds in. Just double check, yeah they're all in there. Then all you're going to do is head over to the master go to the last insert on the uh, on that mixer track and insert a soft clipper it comes with it comes with FL studio as stock so everybody should have it put this soft clipper on there and just leave it don't do anything to the settings just leave it as the default settings hit play Okay, that's good. Okay, the, the one thing that you want to avoid is having the levels on the master come above zero dB because that means it's going to start clipping and distorting and that's when you start getting that really nasty sort of low quality sound when you start to export stuff. Okay, so that's essential that you put that soft clipper on there because it just stops all of that straight away. Now there's one thing that I didn't mention in the previous video and that is to run all the sounds in the beat through a, 
uh, mix a bus before they go to the master, and and I'll show you, and I'll show you exactly why in a second. So we're gonna go ahead and add these to a separate mixer track. So just find an empty mixer track. You can even do it on the send ones, but it doesn't matter. Rename an empty mixer track and just put it mix a bus, something like that. Give it a color so you can see where it is. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and add, and, and then we're just gonna go ahead and send every sound in the beat to this mixer bus. So just find the first sound, hover over the mixer bus, right click, and select root to this track only. Do the same for every sound. Okay, cool. Sounding good. Okay, good. Now, the reason why we've done that is because when you start to mess around with this knob, it doesn't end well. So leave that knob as it is on 80%, leave it there. What we can do though, now we've got all the sounds running through this mixer track, is we can boost the volume and because we're, boost, because we're boosting the volume on the mixer bus, um, the soft clipper is going to prevent anything from going above ZD, 0 dB which means we can really push the volume up and it'll still re and it'll still retain the dynamics to a certain point so you want to find that point and then leave it at that and then that's when you can start go ahead and add in extra effects to sounds where you think is is necessary so what we're going to do is play the beat and I'm just going to drag up this mixer knob here you might go above you know you might go all the way to 100 plus 100 percent but the aim is to increase the volume to a certain point that it still sounds dynamic and punchy um, and not sort of over compress it with that soft clipper um, but we want to sort of push it a little bit so that when it comes to mastering we can kind of um, you know maximize the sound and keep the dynamics so go ahead and hit play Okay, that's sounding good and if you'll notice here like this is a good example so um, when I have uh, boosted this sound you'll see that the volume's gone above 0 dB which is fine because when it's run through the master and you hit play the soft clipper is stopping it from going above 0 dB and that means that you've pushed the volume up the soft clipper is really good at maintaining dynamics but sort of capping off a you know the mixer track at 0 dB so we've sort of cranked the volume up but it's not going above 0 dB which means we've still got which means we've got no clipping no distortion but the sound is a lot louder everything sort of comes together a bit nicer and it's it just sounds better okay And that is literally all you need to do to it. Then you can start going in and adding EQs to individual sounds, you know, doing whatever you want to it, reverb, delay, all the things that you want to do to it that is creative on your part in terms of making the beat yours and in the polished product. Then you go in and start doing all that. This is just a really good way of putting things in beforehand and getting yourself set up. And then once you start mixing afterwards, um, you know, it just sort of makes the whole thing a lot easier. So go ahead, make sure you level the beat first, then add everything to the mixer, add a soft clipper to the master, and then add everything to a separate mixer track, and then crank the volume up until it's not squashing it, but it's not like over dynamic and it's gonna be a nightmare to master. So get those three things done before you start mixing uh, and you will be golden. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you are subscribed if you enjoyed the tutorial. There'll be a lot more like this in the future. Make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on the upload. And if you guys want to learn how to sell beats online, I've put together a ebook recently on how to do that uh, on Instagram specifically. It shows you how to find artists, how to pitch your beats to them, and how to close the sale. I'll leave it in the description and I'll pin a comment uh, on this video where you can get over to that and jump on that today. Uh, so yeah, that's all for today, people. I will see you guys next time. Yes.